I say this with all humility as I stand here in an humble, not humble, Texas. Maybe that the same months won't make it again. That we've got Republicans in the room. And I want you to know that each and every one of you is welcome to be here. So grateful that you can. We've got Democrats in the room as well. We've got independents. We have folks who have never voted in an election before. We have some who will never be able to cast a ballot, at least not in this cycle. We've got 16-year-olds and 17-year-olds. We have dreamers who do not yet have citizenship over the years for almost the entirety of their lives and who have been so much. All of us right now are welcome right here in this place. I mentioned Democrats because Democrats happen to be right now the party that actually believes in democracy. Nowhere, but nowhere is the right to vote under greater attack than it is in this state. It is harder to cast a ballot. It is harder to register to vote in Texas than it is anywhere else in the union. And that difficulty is not spread equally across the state. When you have 750 polling places closed in the great state of Texas, the fastest growing state in America, twice the number of polling place closures as the next closest state, and the vast majority of those polling place closures concentrated in the fastest growing black and brown neighborhoods in the United States of America today. When you see that line literally six hours deep outside of Texas Southern University, and part of you swells with pride, you say, wow, someone's going to wait six hours to be able to cast that ballot, to exercise their right under this democracy, to participate in this election, and then it is soon overwhelmed by the deep shame that you feel that we visit this indignity on any one of our fellow Americans. Bam! And it happens to be concentrated Why did you write murder on those who do not vote in this country. Murder we have murder constantly been at the focus murder of voter suppression and voter intimidation. This is shows us who in addition to cl closing these polling places will come to meetings like these to try to intimidate us, to try to shut us down, to try to keep us from realizing our goodness. to American politics. The, the phrase was coined at the very beginning of the Republic. We have just perfected it in this state. Those in power choosing their voters instead of the other way around, and the racial dimension of this. A three-judge federal panel, two of them appointed by Republican presidents, called our gerrymander in Texas a racial gerrymander. Because again, if you're black, if you're brown, and you're a Texan, there's a good chance that you will be drawn out of your congressional district to minimize the power of your vote or the likelihood that you would vote at all. In this election, in these great democratic democracy-loving